What is up, everyone? It is your main man, Mizix, coming at you with another one. And today, I'm going to be playing Fallout 4. This is going to be a modded playthrough. I'll call it medium modded. It's not quite heavily modded, but it's a medium modded playthrough. Let's go ahead and get right into it. It's been a few years since I've played this, and I've not played any of the DLCs. I really haven't played this game since a couple months after it came out. I'm excited to get back into it. I did, I did start a new playthrough just to kind of test out the uh, mods I got going. Make sure that it's not going to crash the game instantly and it records good. So let's go ahead and get going. Oh, I gotta, there we go. It's also my first time using the Nexus Mod Manager. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Yup. I'm not going to do a girl playthrough, don't worry. Kind of weird for a dude to do a girl playthrough. Never changes. Kind of a neck beard thing to do. Tonight, hun. You think? I got a neck Absolutely. beard right now. I ain't gonna lie, but get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. I'm honestly probably just gonna go with like a default face here. I'm just gonna pick a guy with uh, first one with brown hair and blue eyes. Like if this guy just had blue eyes, I'll just uh, make his eyes blue. How about that? Oh, you know what? I made a mod that uh, I'm supposed to make this. Hmm. Hello, more realistic or something like that. Uh, Urban Ranger. <laughs> Dishonorable Discharge. Uh, it's 
go with nine to five. Nine to five. Hmm, that's really working for me. Just like that. Okay. That was a mod that got. Hold on. This FOV. FOV better be a. Hmm. That may be something I need to look into. It's hoping to find an FOV, but that's all right. That's all right. Hundred and seventy three degrees Fahrenheit for coffee? That ain't gonna cut it. You gotta get to like two hundred degrees, pimp. Wait on old boy to Oh, he's at the neighbor's house still. Check out my house while it's still looking nice. Jeez, a house like this would cost like a million dollars nowadays. You gotta be loaded. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Enjoy your coffee, sir. I'll try. Probably not very good. You brewed at 173 degrees. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Here he comes. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Can you get that? It's probably that sale. Good morning, Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech, remind me again. Why we're about you, sir and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Gotta lean vault, back. If you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. Yep, if that's you true. My language. The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, a precious commodity... I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. All righty. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Okay. Mud. Put some into intelligence. Charisma. Okay, not that much charisma. Not the Riz King. That's not good. I'm gonna have to dial all of these back. I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, I gotta pick myself a name, don't I? That's right. They've they uh. 
They did voice act like 13,000 different names for the game. I'll put my actual name in there. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Which Congratulations on that was probably a uh, poor decision to um, um, voice again. act all the names hey, because it really limited a lot now. of the dialogue. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I thought I they voice acted like thirteen thousand. Yeah, look at that. You heard Codsworth. For one. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Nice. Sounds of explosions. Getting the game going. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Oh, no. we, do have, we do have coming in. That's uh, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Mario with nukes in Pennsylvania. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault now. There we go. Put the put the Nikes on. Sprint. Dang, Nora. Oh, fell off the bridge. That's all right. My lazy wife is back there. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You two God follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? This way. Now keep moving. I'm from the government, and I'm here to help. Lady on. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! It was Mike Tyson we that said, it. "We made it." Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the <sighs> face. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home, Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. Oh, okay. Here for you. No, no, don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Huh. Female and infant. Welcome. This one's good. Step over to the table and take a seat. Just step over to the table. This way, Thanks. Please. I believe these jumpsuits are what part now? of a mod. Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. I think the women right. are supposed to be a little bit better looking, too. It's gone. I don't know if they really look Our like that by default, but she kind of got a dump had. on her. Oh, you're going to love it. Oh, hey, how long this people way? be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Fashionable. I guess this is it. 
Now is this it? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Depressurize me? Time you just say room. depressurize me? Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three. Alright. Just got our baby stolen. Come on! There has to be a release! Yeah, she ain't she ain't she won't make it. <coughs> that should make a pretty good weapon. Need a weapon, uh, like pretty quick here. There it is. Just wondering when that would happen. Giant roaches? What the hell? Welcome to the future, man. Maybe I should do a, pl a melee playthrough on this. No, uh, maybe not. <coughs> Left all. Took me a second to find that button there. Crouch. You saw me crouch. That was a little embarrassing. Ooh. Was I just playing where F did the F did the thing? Nice. Coming back later for you. Yeah, I don't think I'm coming back later for that thing. Terminal should open this. Oh, gotta hack the terminal. Oh, maybe don't even have to hack it.
gunplay in this Fallout's a lot better than the other ones. Oh, oh hold up. About out of here now. Gonna get a pit boy just like that. So I've never really modded Fallout. I've modded Skyrim, but I, I didn't really push it to its limits. This is just kind of medium modded, maybe even light modded. I don't know what you would consider it, but you'll see. I did one mod pack, but then a bunch of the mods in the mod pack didn't work, so I went on... This game actually has a mod menu, which I was surprised, because I've modded Skyrim through Steam. Uh, but then when I modded this, I downloaded the Nexus... Or, I was going to mod uh, Fallout New Vegas through the Nexus mod menu, but then uh, I just I just did a playthrough of that without recording it, like, last month, so I didn't want to do another one. Uh, it is my preferred Fallout, just because of how many side factions there are, unlike in this. So, I, I downloaded the Nexus Mod Manager, and downloaded a bunch of mods, and a bunch of them didn't work, and then when I started the game, to try and check out what actually worked, I saw there was a little mod menu in the game, that like Bethesda maintains or whatever, so... That's how I ended up playing this. Surprised this elevator works after 200 years. Exit the vault. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Let's see how this world looks. Look at this mod pack. <sighs> Blurry. <laughs> Let's let old boy get his vision back. So I made it a lot more green. I think this is a more accurate representation of what it might look like. Also not worried about console hardware limitations. I think this is uh, one of the mods right here. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna steal everything. I didn't even... I honestly didn't even know... Let's check this out. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna drop everything that has stats, because that seems kind of like cheating to me. After I check it out, though. Gotta check it out. All right, all right. Yeah, it does, does kind of seem like cheating to me. Maybe I'll come back later when this is like... Nothing. Maybe I'll keep whatever has, uh... Okay. So this stuff has the same value as my jumpsuit, so I'm not going to get rid of that. Yeah, I'll keep that for now. Not that literally anyone's going to see it because this is a single player game, but hey. 
Whatever. Let's check out my old hood. Alright, well I think I'm going to end the first episode right there. Now that we've made it down, we're about to talk to our man Codsworth. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.